Okay, to assess the strength of the soleus muscle, it's gonna be a little bit different than the traditional heel raise or the calf uh, strength test where the knee is locked out. So for the traditional calf strength, I'm just saying keep the knee locked and can I get 10 single leg heel raises uh, on each side and, and how quickly does it fatigue? For the soleus again, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get the ball of the foot up on a solid object and I'm gonna put the knee in a flexed position. And then what I'm trying to do is see, can I get that heel raising without that knee angle changing much through a good range of motion? And can I hit 10 of those? Um, and again, probably more specifically, is there a big difference side to side? We're all gonna be relative in our strength, but if I can knock out 10 easily on my right and then on my left, I'm struggling by four, we're gonna to wanna to address that because how that affects our mechanics with running and how it affects things up the chain with the hip and the low back are gonna be very, very important. So give that a shot. Make sure you're on a nice solid object. Make sure you get that knee flexed, right? We're not doing a, a, a gastroc test, which is knee straight. We're doing soleus, so that knee's bent. And I'm just trying to keep that knee the same angle as I go through that heel raise. You might be surprised how challenging that is when you bend the knee versus having the knee straight. Give it a shot.